All right, welcome back, everybody. Another episode of Tom's Beer Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a long trip up north to St. Paul, Minnesota, and visit Blackstag Brewing Company. We're going to try out their double IPA titled Nonstop IPA. Uh, first impressions just of the can. A lot of artwork, a lot of cool colors. The can was actually made by Untitled Art, uh, it says here on the back of the label. Um, so it's pretty cool that they reach out to an art company to help them make their their uh, their can. Black Sack Brewing Company, being based out of St. Paul, Minnesota, uh, it seemed like they really care about the community and care about the people that they're around. Founded in 2017 by the Johnson family. Their website is probably the best brewing company's website that I've seen, at least through the reviews, few reviews that I've done. And their merch is awesome. There's really cool looking stuff on there. And just looking through the website made me really want to order something or make it out there so I can buy it in person. And just reading through their About Us page on their uh, website, just it really seems like they really care about quality over quantity instead of just trying to be a big brewery. They just really care about making good beers, and that's probably why they've been so successful. So we'll jump in to the double IPA, dry hopped double IPA. Let's give it a good crack. It's not bad, not bad, not the best, still good. Pretty good smell. Cup today from Sonora Brewing Company, my hometown. Sweet little cup, shape of a beer can. It's just fun. All right, got it all poured in. It's very similar to the Tombstone Double IPA in color. Um, very dark, which, I mean, I guess makes sense. They're both double IPAs, so why wouldn't they be the same? Very similar smell as well. So let's get into the first step. Maybe it'll be a little bit different there. Ooh. Taste is definitely very different from uh, the previous beer review that I just released of the Tombstone Double IPA. Yeah, it doesn't have that citrusy kick that the other one had. This one's very hoppy. Uh, taste, I don't want to say flat, but uh, because it has very, it, you know the carbonation is great. It's not it's not a flat beer, but it just it just tastes like just straight you know kind of more hops than uh, really anything else, which is delicious. I mean I, I'm I'm really enjoying the taste of it. So this double IPA was beer, was brewed with Mosaic Sabro and Lotus hops. Which the mosaics, I can definitely tell, because um, when you get that, they just have a pretty unique taste, at least in my opinion, my very, very unprofessional opinion. Um, but it's pretty good. I mean, for 8.5% too, you can definitely taste how heavy it is, really thick, just like the last one. I mean, this is probably, probably more thick than uh, the last one, so I would say this is the thickest beer that I've tried so far. The aftertaste goes away uh, pretty quick, a lot quicker than previous beers, uh, which I really enjoy about that. Like I've said before, I really like it. You know, take a beer, you get that good burst of flavor, drink it down, and it doesn't linger in your mouth because honestly, as much as I love IPAs and bitter, bitter beers, they don't pair well with a lot of different food items or just when you're hanging out, you know. Not the best lingering taste. Yeah, it has a very... Very unique flavor. I really, I'm enjoying this. It's definitely not what I expected at all. Um, especially because, like, mostly what I drink are a lot of citrusy, hoppy IPAs. This thing it has zero citrus in it, so it's kind of more just a kick of that nice hop flavor. Yeah, this one, this one's definitely the slow sipper as well. If I ever go to their brewery or order this, this is definitely one that I'd probably start out with. So that way I won't spend a you know ninety dollar tab buying all these different beers. This one will help me calm down a little bit uh, by you know just filling me up so much. So just to get back to the can, uh, like I said, it's from Untitled Art out of Wisconsin, and this artwork was done by Noel Miller. So Noel, great job! This can kicks ass. Um, I mean, I might keep it just solely on the can art because, as I said in previous videos. The way you present your product, especially to me, is very important. And, you know, a cool can is going to grab your eye. And then to follow it up with a pretty damn tasty beer 
just makes it all around, you know, something that people are going to keep wanting and keep coming back to, especially with this cool art. So final thoughts on Blackstack Brewing Company out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Their nonstop dry hop double IPA. It, it's a good beer. I like it a lot. Uh, it's definitely not something that I was expecting. It had really good flavor, just something different because, you know, because of what I'm used to. That's not going to hurt us rating at all. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's really thick. It's definitely the thickest beer I've had um, while doing these reviews. The crack was pretty decent. You know, there's definitely been better. But that's also user error 100%. It's not on the brewing company. But uh, overall, I'll give this one a seven, seven and a half. We'll go seven and a half. Uh, I mean, I'll definitely, I probably won't order it from Tavor again, but if I'm in the area, I would love to stop in, try more of the beers, especially check out more of the cans, because these cans kick ass. Um, it's it's a good beer. It's just something that I don't think that I would see myself remembering over and over again. Uh, I really enjoy it, but, I mean, it's just a pretty basic beer. Maybe it's not my style, and that's why I'm saying that, that it's only seven and a half, but... You know, seven and a half, I think that that's as fair as I can give it. So, this has been another episode of Tom's Beer Reviews. I really enjoy drinking these and making these videos. It's a lot of fun. It gives me something to do. So, feel free, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And if you disagree with my terrible, terrible opinions, leave a comment below. Um, I would love to read it and, you know, argue with you because why not argue about people's opinions? That's all we can do. But uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Have a good one.